Here we go. It is the first real test for the Republican presidential candidates. The Iowa caucus is tomorrow night. Chris Hernandez is on the campaign trail with candidates. He joins us live from Des Moines. Chris? Yeah, Mark, it's been a very busy day on the campaign trail with candidates crisscrossing the state as they make their final pitch to voters before tomorrow night's caucus. Now, we caught up with one of the candidates, uh, former Pennsylvania Senator Rick Santorum, this afternoon. He was in Boone, Iowa. That's a small town about 40 minutes northwest of Des Moines. He is the candidate with the big momentum right now. It was standing room only at the Pizza Ranch while he was there. Santorum's getting a lot of attention right now because the latest polls suddenly show him in a three way tie for the top after months where he was really lagging behind with only single digit support. I got a chance to ask him a question about why people should vote for him. This, don't be afraid to lead and take the candidate who's going to do the job that's necessary to change this country. Probably the greatest threat we face in the globe is a he is nuclear campaigning Iran. on the east side of the state today and getting into Des Moines tonight. He's telling voters about the big gap he sees between the promises made by President Obama four years ago and what he's done in office. Ron Paul is also battling for a top finish. He kept talking today about individual liberties and privacy rights. We also went to a campaign event for Michelle Bachman. She's struggling to keep her campaign afloat. You're going to hear from her and from other voters coming up tonight at 6. And just to know you let you know where we are right now. We are inside the convention center here in uh, Des Moines, and this is where all the results are going to come in tomorrow night. We will be here live to let you know what happens. Reporting live in Des Moines, Chris Hernandez, NBC Action News. All right, it is an exciting time to watch us. We're glad you're there to cover it for us, Chris. Thanks very much.